This video is going to be about making some wooden gears and there's a, another video on my channel about how to get it to this point where I have a printout of the gears that I'm going to make. It's about using a SketchUp CAD tool to create a 3D CAD model and then print out the 2D of that. And the first step at this point after printing it out is going to be to just roughly cut out the, the shape of the two gears. I found a couple of pieces of scrap half inch plywood that were big enough and I just roughly cut out the shape of the gears with the bandsaw. Now I'm going to add uh, stick glue to the back side of the gear patterns right here and then stick them onto the plywood. The blue tape is so that I can just peel that off when, uh, when I'm done and there's no sanding or anything like that to try and get the, the, the glue off there. I've got the patterns glued down to the plywood and the next step is going to be to cut out the outside diameter of the gears. I'm going to use a bandsaw and not use a circle cutting jig to cut out that outside diameter. I think just using the bandsaw will be accurate enough and it will be a time saver also. I've got the outside diameter cut out with a bandsaw. The next step is going to be to drill out the center holes in the gears and then also drill out the bottom land areas around the gear. I'm going to use a Forstner bit instead of a standard drill bit for a couple of reasons. One is that the Forstner bit has a really uh, fine tip to it so I believe that's going, to be able, that's going to help more accurately locate where I need to drill. Also I, I don't think I'm going to need to use a center punch with the Forstner bit and then secondly the Forstner bit just drills a cleaner hole with one of the gears drilled out with a Forstner bit and I was a little bit surprised about this that the Forstner bit tended to tear uh, tear at the pattern a little bit more than I, I thought it was going to uh, especially if you go fast the slower you go the less it's going to tear out uh, that was one one observation. I think uh, it's definitely better for precisely centering where you want to drill. I mean it's a lot more accurate but uh, another negative with it is that uh, there's a fair amount of breakout on the back side of it and I did have a piece of, of, of plywood on the back side. So next step is going to be to bandsaw out the teeth. The gears bandsaw it out and the, overall they look okay. I, I'm going to have to sand them a little bit uh, and get rid of a lot of this breakout at the bottom from the Forstner bit. That Forstner bit is much more accurate at cutting holes, you know, the, the center hole and the, uh, the bottom land area holes than a regular uh, drill bit. So you, you can really tell that it's uh, like the center lines, there's no wobble in, in the gear as I rotate it around. There's no wobble there. Uh, and the gears fit fairly tight. I think uh, if I, when I do this again, I'm not going to quite try to cut at the, uh, at the center line of the pattern, but I'll probably try and cut on the outside of the pattern, it's just so the gears are just slightly bigger. Uh, you know, that might lead to a little bit more uh, sanding. Um, but uh, the, the gears will fit a little tighter. Uh, some of these, yeah, like that one right there. It's it's a little, it's a little loose, uh, but not bad whatsoever. I mean, the thing, the gear is working great. Put a little pressure on this guy right here. Uh, by the way, these are two to one gear ratio. So when you turn this, this guy t spins twice as fast. And if you do it the reverse, like that, this guy's going to spin half as fast, but you'll get um, a mechanic, a two to one mechanical advantage over on this side when you use when you use this guy right here. So yeah, I mean I'm I'm real happy with how these turned out. Uh, there was just very minimal amount of sanding uh, on these guys to get it to work like this. So I mean that is kind of proof proof that the uh, software extension is working good. Last thing I wanted to show was this gear train that I made and I, I just took the gears off of this guy right here that's these two guys right here and then I created another two set of gears these gears here I used the regular uh, spiral drill bits to cut uh, to drill the center holes and the bottom land areas and what I'll say is that it took a, a 
more time to get the, the gear to work because those drill holes were not as accurate as they were with the Forstner bit. So I'm gonna be using the Forstner bits going forward to make these gears. Also, I thought a, of an improvement that I should have done on, on these with the Forstner bit. There's a lot of tear out here on the bottom side with the Forstner bit. What I'm gonna do going forward is I'm gonna drill halfway through on the top side just until the, uh, the pilot uh, tip of the Forstner bit goes through the back side. And then I'll flip the gear over and then finish it again from the, the bottom side. That will prevent all this tear out here. If any questions or improvements for this project, please comment below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more.